Hi everyone, I am Rebecca from Chemnitz and right here I have a dish basin, I have some mixed up Dylan hand dye in Bahama blue and flamingo pink and I've got some bare stroll fingering weight sock yarn. This is superwash, 75% superwash merino, 25% nylon and we're going to dye the sock yarn. I'm going to start off by adding it to the bin like so. The bin is damp and I'm going to just pour in some pink dye over here. I'm curious if it will soak in a bit. Oh, it is going all the way through. Bummer! Bummer! I was hoping that I'd be able to use the yarn as almost a blockade against this. And, ooh, that's pretty. But maybe as we start soaking up some color, we'll be able to do a tiny bit of a blockade. Okay, let's see. What happens if I add some more? This dye I had soaked, I dissolved each packet of the Dylan hand dye in, let's see, I first dissolved it in three cups of warm water with three tablespoons of salt. Um, and then I used this for some hand painting and other dye applications today. Let's add some of this blue. <laughs> sort of making this up as I go along. Oh, don't float, yarn. Don't float. Don't float. <laughs> well, it looks like the pink is almost all absorbed. Um, there's not... A, oh, we're seeing some blue come underneath. This is sort of my version of kettle dyeing with this hand dye. <laughs> uh, this is a totally totally heatless techni technique. I did start off with warm water, but uh, I think that we have the potential of creating some really, really cool yarn here. All right, I am, oh, look at those colors. That is just cool. Okay, I am gonna go ahead and, goodness, okay, I'm gonna add the rest of this blue. And now I'm going to let this sit for half an hour. And after that half hour, depending on how much white space is left, I'll move things around. Maybe I'll add more water. But we'll see if I can get something that has some variation in tone using this, I don't know, is this like a dry, low immersion kind of thing that I have going on? Basically, I thought that we would have some fun. So I'm going to let this sit for half an hour, then I will come back and manipulate it and see, I guess, see what we kind of colors we can get on the sock yarn with these Dylan hand dyes. 30 minutes in and we have soaked up almost all of the liquid, but there is still some left. So. Let's try to share some of this remaining liquid with the rest of our yarn. Hopefully this will give us some shade, depth of shade, depth of different colors. It looks like that pink isn't moving very much. But now um, I'm going to place this in the sink and we are going to wait another half hour before we rinse the yarn. It has been an hour, and now we're gonna take some cool water to rinse off this yarn. So I'm curious how deep or pale these colors will be. In general, I found that superwash yarns actually work with the Dylan hand dye reasonably well. And there was still a lot of dye um, that we poured on 
that we poured onto this yarn. So, right. There's a lot of dye. Could it conceivably be used for, for something up for something else? But I have to stop somewhere. Okay. This is really pretty. Actually, it looks a lot like uh, some yarn that I did with tie-dye earlier this year, but we'll see how these tones play out. There's definitely going to be some pink sections. The tones aren't quite as dark as what I was expecting, but then again, I did, it was the first time I was working with black, and I still got a deep, deep, deep denim blue close to a navy. So getting some more medium tones from this shouldn't really be too surprising. I am now gonna use a little bit of this soap just to help Try to rinse out the color. I, I which is it's ironic because the colors end up being slightly less vibrant on some of these wool yarns than on cotton. But I actually find it a little bit easier to wash them overall. Um, there's still multiple, multiple rinses because there's a lot of excess dye to rinse out. But I'm gonna just keep washing this until the water runs clear, and then I'll hang it up to dry and share the finished dry yarn with you. Here is the finished dry yarn. We dyed this sock yarn that is 75% superwash merino, 25% nylon, with some leftover dylon hand dye that we had mixed previously that day. And we sort of arranged it into a container and poured it in, hoping to get some kind of random kettle dyed space dyed effect. And it worked. We have a beautiful, irregular, non-repeating colorway full of vibrant tones, including both the original blue, Bahama blue and flamingo pink, and some intermediate shades where the colors mixed together. This yarn is balanced in terms of depth of vibrant color, but it is not balanced in terms of shade. I'm not sure if you would end up with a gradient, but there is likely a lot more pink on one half of the skein of yarn than the other. So this type of asymmetric colorway is something that I think would be best suited for a project that could really highlight that. Uh, a cowl, a shawl, a scarf, something where these changes and not really a gradient, but it's something that you can appreciate. Of course you could get some awesome fraternal socks, but I don't think you could get an identical pair of socks or mittens out of this yarn. The Dylan hand dyes wash out really well from these superwash yarns. They hold the dye beautifully and it's easy to remove the excess. The yarn is still really, really soft, but it does have a slightly different feel to it than yarn that you dye with, that we've dyed with food coloring or other acid dyes. It's still, I mean, saying it's knittable is like an unfair statement. It is more than knittable. It's a soft, lovely yarn. It just has a slightly different hand to it than some of the other stroll fingering weight yarns that we've dyed. I think that it's really encouraging that you can use this dial on hand dye to get extremely solid or semi-solid colorways but you can still use them to get something a little more variegated. This isn't something where I had a ton of control over the colorway, but I'm, I'm really excited that we were able to get something like this, something that looks like it came just fresh out of the dye pot where I did some space dyeing. I am Rebecca from Chemnitz, and thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to the Chemnitz Tutorials YouTube channel. And if you would like to increase your support of the whole Chemnitz uh, experience, check out the Chemnitz Patreon and the different perks that you can get when you become a patron. Thank you so much for watching.